Welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for the next six months. And in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. If this reading resonates with you, Aries, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Okay, so Aries, for the next six months, your challenge is the Four of Cups, okay? And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So the Four of Pentacles in reverse here uh, is very much connected to your whole entire reading. So we're gonna talk about how that links in in a moment. Uh, for your challenge over the next six months for you, Aries, I do really strongly feel that over the six months, there's going to be a lot of energy connected to love. Okay. With the four of cups here. Now, the biggest challenge for you is to be open to love. Okay. Because the four of cups typically represents somebody who's closed off, not interested, or just not available emotionally. I'm getting an unemotional, uh, availability here, uh, in terms of your challenge. So we're going to see why this is your challenge and what you need to know about that, uh, in a moment. Okay. Now in the recent past, you have the page of pentacles, the page of swords and the ace of wands. So I feel like in the recent past, there was a particular person who had their eye on you. You know, someone saw you, they really liked you could have been an air sign. I'm getting a Gemini here, maybe an earth sign, a Taurus sun, moon, or rising. I'm also getting a fire sign here. Okay. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We're going to clarify this. We're going to see uh, more about this for you in a moment. Now in the present moment, Aries, you have the ace of cups, the high priest and the star. Very interesting because in the present moment, I feel for many of you, there's an important person who's coming into your life. It could be someone here, like a new love that's coming in or something that you're very emotional about a new beginning of some sorts is coming in. And it looks like it's one that you're choosing to commit yourself to for a very long time with the star here. Okay. There's a lot of healing uh, taking place for you right now. Your ruler Mars is currently in Leo. And I believe uh, in Western astrology, that's going to be there until July of some time. So it's a very positive time for you is what um, spirit is saying in terms of the present moment. Okay. Now in the near future, you have the lovers, the nine of swords, and you have the 10 of cups. So I feel like in the near future for you, there's a very strong energy here of you being in love, you coming together with someone you're reading, by the way, is really positive. That's why I'm shocked because typical or typically readings are not always positive, but yours seems to be very positive because there's someone that you're coming together with in the near future, a soulmate, twin flame, someone here that you meet, uh, randomly over the next six months. And I feel that this is going to lead to tons and tons of abundance and happiness for you because the 10 of cups is here, which is super rare to get. However, beside that you have the nine of swords. Okay. And I feel with the nine of swords, there's a very strong energy here of, you know, nine of swords, energy, worry, stress, fear, anxiety connected to this love situation. But the good news here for you, Aries, is that there's nothing here to worry about because it looks like someone who's meant to be in your life ends up being there over the next six months. And it leads to tons and tons of happiness. Okay. Uh, which you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. You have the four of pentacles in reverse, which is telling me that a lot of you are choosing to let something go six of cups in reverse. Some of you are forgetting about the past or someone from the past. You're no longer allowing the past to hold you back is what it looks like over the next six months, especially when it comes to some sort of negative or toxic situation that was holding you back. I think because you were holding on to this for quite some time, it really affected your ability to manifest and create. And as you know, if you're into astrology, Mars was in cancer and whenever Mars is in a water sign, it becomes debilitated. So for a lot of you, you know, the past few months may have been very diluted energy for you, but it looks like things are changing now that your sign or your planet is actually in a sign that facilitates fire energy. Okay. So something here is shifting for you. So let's get into your reading and let's uh, do some clarification for you. Okay. Let's clarify your challenge. Okay. 
All right, so your challenge, the Four of Cups is clarified by the Chariot, the Hangman, and the Nine of Swords, okay? So your challenge here has a lot to do with, again, you finally moving forward. And it's interesting because the chariot is connected to the sign of cancer. And I was just talking about how Mars was in cancer and the hangman's there. So your biggest challenge here is not to be worried about whether or not something is going to move forward. One of the things that I'm going to tell you is, is that uh, in life, if you're aware of astrology, you can know when the timing is right. And that's what your challenge is. Your challenge here is knowing when the time is right to actually move forward with something, to actually make something happen in your life. And you have the nine of swords here as well, which is very much connected to the near future. And spirit is saying a lot of you may not be aware of the timing. Some of you want to do something or you want to create something, but you don't have the right timing or you don't know when the right timing is in order for you to execute it. Okay. So your biggest challenge here is not to be closed off all the time because something failed in the past or something didn't work out. You have to recognize when the timing is right to strike. Okay. So, you know, I'll give you an example. Whenever you're planting, and, uh, you, you know, you want to plant obviously to grow vegetation. You don't plant in the middle of winter, you plant in spring. So your biggest challenge here is about knowing when to move forward, when to open up, when to be ready to open up, because if you open up and you're ready at the right time, you do things at the right moment, that's when you're going to be successful in whatever it is that you plan to do. And that's going to be your biggest challenge because now that Mars, your ruler is in Leo, a lot of you may be saying, you know, I finally feel like I can do something, like I can create something that I can finally move forward and you can. Uh, so there's no point in worrying because whatever will be, will be, and it will happen when the timing is right. Okay. So that's going to be a big part of your challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Now in the recent past, there was a brand new beginning a brand new passionate uh, beginning. Some of you met someone here in the past that really liked you, that really felt like you were the one that they wanted to be with. You have the Knight of Cups, the Moon, and you have the Devil. Now, in the recent past, even though this person looked very promising and the new beginning looked very promising, it started out very hot and heavy, okay, in the recent past, it looks like it started to lead to something very toxic here in the past, but it wasn't something that was well known by everybody. It wasn't really out in the public. This is something that was personally happening in your life that was really affecting you on a very deep level. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles in the recent past for Aries. You have the page of pentacles, the king of pentacles and the tower. Yeah. So in the recent past, there was definitely a promise made here and it looked like someone was capable of making that promise happen. However, there was a tower moment. There was a breakup here in the past between you and this person. And one of the reasons why I see there was a breakup here in the past areas is because something here got toxic. It started to become too overwhelming. Some of you were dealing with someone who was super jealous in the past. Anytime they saw you with someone else or, you know, anytime you went out, there could have been a lot of questioning here in the past that I'm getting as well. So something led to a tower moment because there was a lot of instability here in the past anyways. Okay. And that's what I see happened in the past. Now in the present moment, it looks like there's a brand new beginning. There's a new start that's happening for you. If this is about a new love, this new love that's coming into your life, it has a lot of potential, a lot of potential, and it could lead to something great here. A lot of you have already made a decision about this person. Okay. Tell me more about this new love. Who's coming into Aries, Aries's life here with the Ace of Cups? in the present moment. You have the queen of cups, the three of wands and the ace of swords. Okay. Some of you are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting a Leo here or a Gemini. Okay. Pisces is also very strong. Could be a Taurus or an Aquarius. I feel in the present moment, someone wants clarity from you. Okay. This could be someone at a distance, someone that you've been disconnected um, with for quite some time. Somebody here has their eye on you. They really believe Aries, you, you're the one, you're the person that they want to be with. This water sign is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're willing to travel. They're willing to trek across the world to be with you. Okay. That's for some of you. For others of you, this is someone who's ready to, 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 you know, move to the next level with you. They're ready to get married. They're ready to commit. Uh, somebody here sees themselves being with you in the future. Okay. And this could be very much connected to a decision that a lot of you have already made. Tell me more about the star in the present moment for Aries. Somebody here starting to open up. Okay. Uh, it's taken quite some time, but there's a lot of this open energy finally, again, because Mars has exited outside of cancer, which is your ruling planet in astrology, which is going to obviously affect you. If you're a sun, moon, or rising, uh, 
you're starting to feel this pull of, wow, things are finally happening for me, okay? And with the star here, you have the eight of pentacles, the four of wands, and the world, okay? Now, I'm just gonna throw this uh, story out there for you. A lot of you are dealing, there's two stories. The first story is some of you are dealing with someone here where the relationship between you and them may come to an end if there isn't a way to heal things and work things out. That's for some of you. And this is why whoever this person is in the present moment, they want clarity from you. They wanna know truly, Aries, are you the one? Are you the person that I want or will be with, okay? Somebody here in the present moment is willing to work through the issues. If there is any issues right now, if your relationship is perfect, then you don't need to be here because your relationship's perfect and everything's perfect and you don't need my help. But if you're having issues in your relationship, I do see that this person wants to hear from you. I do see that this person wants clarity from you, especially when it comes to determining if you and this person are gonna move forward. Okay, uh, because there's definitely a strong energy here about a commitment. Tell me more about the high priest in the present moment for Aries. What's the important message? You have the two of pentacles, the hierophant and the three of pentacles. Someone here in the present moment wants to know if you're willing to work things out with them. Are you willing to work things out with them? Are you willing to remain being married to this person or are you willing to compromise within the relationship? This can also be the case as well. Either way, someone here is serious about you, Aries, and there is a little bit of a fear here that things may come to an end if things don't progress to the next level, okay? Because someone here is really serious about the future with the star uh, in the present moment. Okay, now, in the near future, things get very interesting for you, very juicy, okay? Because it looks like a soulmate is coming in for you, a real, true soulmate, uh, someone that you feel very much connected to. Tell me more about the lovers in the near future for Aries. You have the Eight of Swords, you have the Star, and you have the Ace of Wands. So it looks like for you in the near future, there's a very strong energy here of you having a brand new beginning and finally releasing yourself from some sort of isolation. So if you've been in this energy, Aries, for quite some time, where you've been alone, where you feel like you know, you're never going to find love. You're never going to be with anybody. You know, this just, it's almost like a disconnecting feeling. Uh, it looks like that's changing in the near future, even though you're worried about it. It's like, you're slowly coming out of this fear, anxiety of maybe I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. Something here is no longer difficult for you. Like it has been for quite some time. And I feel that this new beginning that you decide to have is very much a part of a long-term commitment or connection. Tell me more about the 10 of cups in the near future for Aries. You have the magician, the king of cups, and the three of swords. Someone here in the near future really, like even though they're still hurt, this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this Aquarius, uh, you know, whoever this person is, sun, moon, or rising, I'm really getting that they're coming towards you and they want to still offer love. Okay, they want to offer love. Now, for some of you, this could be two people. I'm not getting that for everyone, maybe like one or 2% of you. There could be two people here that you need to choose between. But either way, there's a soulmate here in the near future that looks like... It looks like you're really interested in someone new here. And for some of you, someone here from the past may come back as well over the next six months. You have the six of wands, page of wands, and the two of cups. Yes. So somebody wants you. Somebody's looking, you know, at you in the near future. Some of you are super successful, or you're going to be dealing with someone who's super successful. Whoever the person is that's successful in the near future, the other person really wants to be with them because they see this person as someone who everybody wants. And this is what creates some sort of uh, desire here. Okay. So something here may be ending for you in the present moment. And in the near future, you finally make room to meet that soulmate or be with that soulmate. And some of you are already doing this, okay, is what I'm seeing here. So let's get some advice for you. Interesting reading. You have the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Your biggest piece of advice is very straightforward. Your biggest piece of advice here for you is that for many of you, you should be choosing to move forward towards the things and situations in your life that are going to bring forth ab of abundance. And this is about planting seeds. So if you're starting something new, your biggest piece of advice here is to look at this situation and make sure that this is a situation that you see yourself remaining in for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, whatever it is that you're doing and embarking on now, if it's something that 
you feel is fruitful, if it's something that you feel is gonna you know, bring rewards into your life, because that's the energy that you're in right now, Aries, okay? Aries is in Leo, and Leo is a sign that knows what they want, they pursue what they want, it's not a passive sign, like Cancer. Cancer is a very passive sign compared to Leo. So this is about you planting seeds now so that over the next six months, it's gonna turn out to be the abundant, prosperous investment that you thought it would be. Anything that's not related to your abundance, anything that is not serving you being able to move forward may not be something that you want to focus on right now. So that's where your energy needs to be. That's your biggest piece of advice. And when you do that, you're gonna see all the rewards that are gonna come into your life. Ten of Pentacles is a serious energy. This is about a windfall of money coming in, long-term commitment, something here that is going to bring forth some sort of abundance to your life, but you have to be willing to take the leap of faith. You have to be willing to be open to that. And that's going to be your biggest uh, piece of advice. Okay. So Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.